a celebrity golf tournament, so we have a few announcements we need to make before we get rolling. We'll start with that. Thank you to Rolling Motors and Jerry Rolling Motors. Uh, fantastic job. Thanks for being the presenting sponsor, State Bank of Iowa, and also People's Insurance, our Olympic champion sponsors. Uh, if you bought a super ticket, you have to turn it in before you play. So a lot of people bought those. That's the instructions I have. I'm going to turn this over to Gary Kroger. He's going to make the celebrity announcements, and then we'll have a few rules. Hand it over to Gary. Thanks, Gary. All right, thank you very much. If we could all gather around. You know, uh, I'm going to announce the celebrities, but they're like herding cats. They're like herding drunk cats. So I don't have any idea if they're any in any order. Do they know? They, they don't know to be? Well, we're going to have fun, and we're going to hold off the rain. Uh, Bill promised a great day. I've been looking at the weather report. They keep delaying any possibility every hour about another hour but the truth is no matter what happens we have to know the reason jim good to see you my friend uh, we're here to support the cause and we get to have fun doing it and that's ultimately what it's all about and if it rains on us so what we're still going to have fun is everybody kind of ready all right i'm going to say your names raise your hand see what i mean Burning cats. There they are. Here, let's hold that open. If that's as old possible. Can we have you guys stand off to the side so yeah. they can all see it? Hey, what a good idea. Thank you. All right, raise your hand. I'll say a little bit about you. Nick Ackerman. There he is. NCAA wrestling champion for Simpson College in 2001. His finals victory was named one of the most defining moments in NCAA history by ESPN and the number one most dramatic NCAA championship victory by NCAA Champion Magazine. Welcome, Nick. Mike Allen. Where are you, Mike? Well, we're going to talk about you anyway. I know he's here. I know he's here. Member of the Glen Brand Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa, officiated 23 NCAA Division I wrestling tournaments, received a lifetime achievement for officials from the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. When we see him, we'll pat him on the back. Pat Angerer, where are you, Pat? Saw you last year, good to see you again. Linebacker at the University of Iowa, we know that. He was second team all Big Ten, played for the Colts from 2010 to 2013, compiling 327 tackles. Did you know that, 327? Yes. Very often I find out you guys learn your stats when somebody says them. Bruce Ani, where are you, Bruce? There you are. Uh, he's the lead anchor, we all know that, for KCRG out of Cedar Rapids, given a local Emmy in 1996. And I believe you took my son to Florida a couple months ago, or an organization of yours. Yes, yes. He says nice things about you. Ed Bannock. There you are, Ed. 1984 Olympic champion, three-time NCAA champion for the University of Iowa, Big Ten Athlete of the Year in 1983, distinguished member of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Welcome, Ed. Pete Bush. I'm going to go quickly. There's Pete. Pete was a 1984, oh, I'm sorry, Pete was an NCAA champion for the University of Iowa in 1982 at 190 pounds, currently the head wrestling coach at Davenport Assumption and a member of the Glen Brad Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa. Welcome. Rick Caldwell is being inducted. Where are you, Rick? There you are. Rick Caldwell is being inducted into the Glen Brand Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa tomorrow, correct? Coached Waverly Shellrock to nine state team championships, including the all-time point record at the state wrestling tournament in 2008. Welcome. Rick Coleman is here somewhere. Where are you, Rick? The only brother here. Yeah, hey, yes. playing golf today though, right? No. no, he's just here to improve his tan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Troy Dannon, I saw you, Troy. There <laughs> you are. Troy, and the, and the flag bearer as well as current director of athletics at, at UNI, overseeing one of the most successful eras in Panther history. Yeah. Tom Darkness is not here yet. He will be late, but as we know, an All-American football player at the University of Michigan. Jared DeVries, I saw you, Jared. There you are again. Good to see you every year. Native of Applington, played 10 seasons for the Detroit Lions, had 180 tackles, 16.5 sacks. Also an All-American for the University of Iowa and first team All-Big Ten three times. Welcome. <laughs> Gary Dolphin, I know you care. There you are. Gary Dolphin, we know him. 
Whether you know his face or not, you know his voice. Voice of the Hawkeyes, current play-by-play -play broadcaster for University of Iowa and men's basketball teams. Welcome, Gary. Thank you. Tim Dwight, I know you're here somewhere. I've seen Tim. Right here. There you are, there you are, Tim. Native of Iowa City, two-time All-American football player from the University of Iowa, spent 10 years in the NFL with the Atlanta Falcons, San Diego Chargers, New England Patriots, New York Jets, and Oakland Raiders. Named one of the top 50 sports figures in the state of Iowa by Sports Illustrated. Always good to see you, Tim. Don Eddy. There you are, Don, a native of Mason City, Iowa, who played for the Chicago White Sox in 1970 and 1971. Good to see you. Jim Gibbons. There's Jim. Jim was born in Waterloo, won an individual NCAA championship for Iowa State in 1981, coached Iowa State to its most recent, recent wrestling championship in 1987, is a member of the Glen Brand Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa. Good to see you. Matt Hooper is here. Here you are, Matt. Two-time state wrestling champion from Belle Plaine and the season two winner of NBC's hit show, The Biggest Loser. Oh, come on, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for somebody kind of mixes it up a little bit. That's awesome. Kevin Jackson. Kevin, I saw Kevin. Did I not see Kevin? Oh, he's a, Kevin's only, he's getting a head start. Hey, Kev. Current head wrestling coach at Iowa State, four-time All-American in college, as well as a world champion in 1991 and 95, and an Olympic champion in 1992. <laughs> Stuart Carter is playing today. Stuart. Stuart. He's off ball, the other brother. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Stuart's here. He wrestled for Waterloo Columbus, NCAA, NCAA champion for Iowa State in 87, member of the Iowa State's 87 NCAA championship team. Welcome, Carter. Ben Jacobson, I know I saw you somewhere. There you are, Ben. As we know, current head wrestling coach at the University of Northern Iowa. He just led the what? <laughs> he just led the basketball team to one of his most successful teams. That's what it says. Look at that. Schwabu. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm like Anchorman. I just read what I see. Just led the basketball team to one of his most successful seasons, including a win at the Missouri Basketball Tournament and a round of 32 appearance at the NCAA Basketball Tournament. Always, my friend. <laughs> Eric Keller is a native of Indianola. Eric. Yeah. There he is. Was a wrestling All-American for the University of Northern Iowa in 99. Currently the head wrestling coach at Wartburg College, coaching the Knights to an NCAA team title in 2014. Welcome. Bruce Kim is from Norway, Iowa. Played for the Detroit Tigers, Chicago Cubs, Chicago White Sox, and was manager for the Chicago Cubs. Bruce. Bruce Krakow. There he is. All-American defensive end at Iowa State before a successful career in the NFL. Played six seasons with the Buffalo Bills, leading the team in tackles in 1976. Welcome, Lambert. Matt Crowell, there he is. Oh, Crow, Crow. Yes, I knew that actually. I even wrote it down phonetically and I still screwed it up. But your ancestors came up with some funky vowels, man. That's... <laughs> He's from Mount Vernon, Iowa. He played football for the University of Iowa as an offensive lineman and played three seasons for the New York Jets. <laughs> Brad Lowhouse. Where, where's Brad? He's Brad's late. Well, we all know he played some basketball, didn't he? He'll, he'll be here later. Chuck Long, where are you, Chuck? There you are, man. So I can play golf as you saw yourself play. Played quarterback at the University of Iowa from 81 through 86, given the Maxwell Award in 85 as best college football player in the nation. Also played, played second in the Heisman Trophy, voting next to Bo Jackson, who won that year, and the closest vote in the history of the award. Played six years in the NFL. Good to see you, Chuck. I was at every by the way. Mike Mann is being inducted in the, into the Glen the Brand Hall, Wrestling Hall of Fame by Iowa tomorrow. Mike? Mike? Right there. Oh, there you are. Four-time All-American at Iowa State University and Big 12 champion. Mann is also the current head wrestling coach at Marshalltown. Welcome. <laughs> Coming down the home stretch, Edmund Miles. Where's Edmund? There you are. Another brother. 
Play, <laughs> playing linebacker at the University of Iowa, a member of the New York Giants and Atlanta Falcons in the NFL. Welcome, Edmund. <laughs> Bryce Hoff, I know I saw you, Bryce. There you are. Bryce is currently an assistant football coach for, for UNI, played 11 seasons in the NFL where he was a four-time Pro Bowl selection, named Defensive Player of the Year in 95 for the Buffalo Bills. Welcome. The guy I work with is Brad Penrith. There's Brad, member of the Glen Brand uh, Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa, was an NCAA champion at the U I should have this memorized, dude. It's part of working with you. Uh, champion for the University of Iowa in 86 and a silver medalist in the 91 World Championship. And if you don't know that, he will tell you every time he meets you. Bobby Peterson, where are you, Bobby? There you are. Bobby is currently in her 16th year as head volleyball coach at UNI with five uh, Missouri Valley Conference regular season titles and two appearances in the Sweet 16 at the NCAA Tournament. Ooh. Welcome, Bobby. Nice. Sage Rosenfeld, I don't believe is here yet. Sage, any chance? Sage played, Iowa, uh, played football at Iowa State 12 years, and he'll be here later. Doug Schwab. Where are you, Doug? That's where I saw it, Doug. Oh, there he is. Doug is current head wrestling coach at the University of Northern Iowa in 2000. He had, took your job away, didn't he, Ben? <laughs> current head wrestling coach at the University of Northern Iowa uh, was a 2008 Olympian at 145.5, an NCAA champion, and a three-time All-American for the University of Iowa. He's also a member of the Glenn Brand Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa. Good to see you. <laughs> My buddy Jed Smith is here somewhere. Big, there's big old Jed, currently serves as the head strength and conditioning coach at UNI. Before he arrived at UNI, he was the strength coach for the Minnesota Wild and the Minnesota Vikings. Tolly yeah. Thompson. Tolly. Where's Tolly? There we go. Step on out, man. Don't be shy. Tolly Thompson from Janesville, assistant wrestling coach at UNI. He was an NCAA champion, three-time All-American for Nebraska, 2005 World Bronze Medalist, and is a member of the Glen Brand Wrestling Hall of Fame of Iowa. Well, Give it up for Matt Wagner. Matt from Cedar Falls, there you are. Former Major League Baseball player for the Mariners. You can find his picture in the Cedar Falls High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Good to see you. Another good buddy, Chuck Yagla. Chuck, where are you? You're probably already out there somewhere. There you are. <laughs> Don't pretend like you can throw that. That's not your game. Chuck is from Waterloo. We know that. 1980 Wrestling Olympian, two-time NCAA champion for the University of Iowa, received the Lifetime Achievement Officials Award from the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Chuck, always great to see you. Michael Ziegler. Michael. Michael Ziegler. Oh, he's in here somewhere. Uh, Six-time world long drive finalist with longest non-competition drive of 504 yards. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's three times at the tee for me. Bob Siddons. Did Bob make it? No, Bob's not here. Jim Miller. I know you're here, Jim. Jim's out there working the crowd. There you are, native of Waterloo. He is the architect behind the Wartburg College Wrestling. He led the Knights to 10 NCAA team champions and 21 consecutive conference titles. That's, those are statistics that sound like another guy that I kind of know. He was a two-time Division II NCAA championship, champions, uh, where he won championships for UNI and was a two-time Division I All-American. Give it up for Jimmy. Uh, and here's a guy, I'm not really, I, whatever, uh, Dan Gobble, Don, uh, Gobble, Dan Gable, undefeated three-time state champion for Waterloo West, won two NCAA championships at Iowa State, won the 1972 Munich Olympic without surrendering a point, I watched it. He went on to coach UNI, uh, University of Iowa Wrestling to 15 NCAA championships, 21 consecutive Big Ten championships during his 21 seasons as head coach. I mean, you almost laugh at this. In 2000, Sports Illustrated named, named him the top sports figure in the state of Iowa, Dan Gable. <laughs> Folks, those are, yes, you've got what, yes. Guys, um, <laughs> can I just do this? Okay. As part of Charity Golf, you guys all bought the super tickets. We have a shootout at the end. I need these four people to show up 
with an iron, a tee, and a golf ball, and you're done to have the shootout for the free trip. One other person will win a free trip from the super tickets, and then we have a shootout for the free trip. If one of you hits a hole in one, you get $100,000. I don't think that's going to happen, no offense. <laughs> Maybe, you don't know. Um, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Yes. Um, so we need Josh. I think it's Durkoff. Is it D U H R K O P S? Thank God that was a D in your last name. <laughs> 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 Michael Fritz, Glenn Barrett, and Pat Gable, G A B E L. So if you guys could meet me, find the redhead after you're finished, we'll do the shoot off. Thanks. And, and if you find the redhead, that's a hundred thousand dollars too. So good luck with that. Hey, I get, are there a few rules, Kyle? What needs to happen before these guys, men and women, mount their engines? All right, I'd like to welcome everybody to Prairie Links, and thanks for coming out in support of the event today. Um, a few quick rules and we get everybody out on the course. Um, we are playing a four-man best shot today, four-person best shot, and the cards are on the cards. Return those to the clubhouse uh, when you're done. A couple rules, uh, we, do have, we do have flag events on, I think, six of the holes today. There's an event on 17 with our, our uh, golf pro, so he'll be out there and uh, we can help with that. And just want to keep cards out of the Nomo. It is a, a link style golf course, so stay out of there. And um, if there's anything at all we can do to uh, make your day more enjoyable, let me or the staff know what we can do and uh, have a great time out there. So thank you. Thank you.